Welcome back everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy and this week we're going to be talking and learning about mustard and more precisely Dijon mustard. So if you want to know a little bit of the history it comes from and how to make your own mustard at home, keep watching. Now let's talk about mustard. Now I'm sure you all know mustard and it's the yellow stuff you find on your uh, hot dogs for instance if you use fast food or in French cooking if you make a rabbit with mustard sauce which is one of the recipes you can see on the link above that we've made before. And it's a very common spice and it's been around uh, in France, we're going to be talking about France, since the 13th century. It's actually the oldest spice with the pepper. So it's a very, very old. Now in recipes, uh, in French recipe in general, the one thing you're going to see all the time is Dijon mustard. And the abbreviation is, uh, is always like, oh, use a two sp tablespoon of Dijon. And you may not know what does that mean exactly, a Dijon mustard. Well, Dijon or Dijon in French is the name of the town where the mustard is made. And it is a town in Burgundy that's got a lot of specialties and a lot of gastronomy going on in there. And mustard is by far one of the greatest specialty there is. But in France, we don't say mustard or moutarde, we say mustard with an S because in the Burgundy region and in Dijon, there's actually dozens and dozens of different types of mustards. So, okay, so we've learned that mustard comes from Dijon and other parts, but Dijon in Burgundy is the one town in France that really the mustard is really, really prominent and it is there proud and joy. The recipe has been guarded by some very strict orders called the order of the mustards and vinegar makers for century. In the most recent times, uh, a group of purists, I think in 1996, tried to create a new fellowship called the fellowship of the Dijon mustard. And it's not a joke. Here they are, look on the screen with their beautiful yellow uniform. Uh, and uh, their role here is to defend uh, the recipe and how to make uh, the mustard from Dijon and from the Burgundy region. So they always try to protect these original recipes so that they don't get lost in time and uh, that a lot of people tend to change them. You know, they make, uh, they add elements in it that don't belong like flour, garlic, onions, all kinds of things. So they are there to protect that recipe and to make sure we eat a proper mustard. But of course, when we talk about this recipe, what exactly is the recipe of making mustard? Well, you'll be surprised that actually making mustard in a Dijon style is actually very simple. And you can do this at home and that is exactly what we're gonna do right now. So as we look at the history of mustard and the provenance, let's have a look at the core ingredients. What is mustard? At its core, mustard is made with this. These are Mustard seeds. If you've been cooking Indian food, this is very common. They can be bought online on many shops and they keep very well. They come from a plant, as you can see on the screen. It's called a mustard plant and it's just a simple plant. It's got yellow flower and when it goes to seed, well, basically it produces these little fruits and they're actually fruits, the seeds of the plant and they can be white, brown or black ones. The black ones being the strongest one. So you have to harvest first these seeds in order to make the mustard. But how do you transform this? into mustard? What well, is very simple, you have to grind them. Now making your own mustard at home is surprisingly easy and does not require much ingredients. All what you need is in front of you. Huh? So we're going to have the mustard seeds and that you're going to have to put in water for at least two hours, a few tablespoons of white wine, a few tablespoons of white wine vinegar, a teaspoon of rock salt and of course a pestle and mortar. I'll put all the precise ingredients in the video description. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is of course to drain the mustard seeds and put them in the sieve before we can grind them. Now as you can see they were black but because they are dry seeds the good thing of put them in water for two hours and we're going to soften the seeds a little bit and we're also going to add in that mix a little bit of moisture that's going to be much needed because we're going to have to grind this. Okay so you're going to take everything and immediately we're going to start to put everything in and start grinding the mix. Now once the seeds are in, of course, uh, we're going to start mashing the whole lot. Now the, uh, the meal that's used is much uh, different, uh, it's much bigger. So this is not uh, maybe the perfect tool, but when you're at home, that's all what we have. So what we're going to do is always this crushing and circular motion to really kind of break open all of these seeds. Now I've been at it 
for a, a good five minutes. And let me tell you, you need some good elbow grease and it takes a really, really long time, but you can see the color. So what we are making is the old fashioned mustard that's got this grain. And this is like the Dijon mustard you can buy with the grain, but you see that, that kind of yellowish color and the mustard starts to appear. So if I grind like that, look at that. See this, all that kind of yellow color starting? That is the mustard. And so I'm gonna keep on grinding to try to make that paste as fine as I can. All right, so it's been 10 minutes of grinding. I'm not there yet, but look at this. I see it looks more, more like a mustard now. And you can now start to incorporate a little bit of liquid. You can use water, um, but I like to use white wine. And I'm gonna keep on adding liquid in there and then grind again and to make sure I extract all of these juices there. All right, let's take a break from the grinding. That's, I've added all the wine, it's still very, very thick, but it starts to be extremely pungent. And look at this, this is a real, I don't know if you can see, but this is a real paste. And from here, basically, uh, we've got the, the base kind of paste that we want. And you can keep on adding a little bit more wine, a little bit more water. I'm gonna add a little bit of my vinegar here. And it's a bit like making a dressing. And so we're gonna start adding the ingredients. So a bit of vinegar, a bit of salt. And again, take our <laughs> A mortar here and we're gonna keep on grinding so the finer and the longer you grind the more you're gonna kind of slowly emulsify the whole mix the, the mustard grain with the rest and it's gonna get finer and finer. if you want something coarse you can just stop here uh, and add more liquid to get the consistency you want and keep that kind of graininess but I think I want to keep on going a little bit to have something a little bit more fine okay so here we are we've got our base paste and this is what you need to have we added uh, a bit of vinegar a bit of white one a bit of salt and from here it is all about adjusting the quantities to your own taste but before we do that we need to try the mustard <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh strong oh ah, if you want a strong mustard oh, it's like wasabi Gee, well, okay. Uh, still, you know what? A little bit bitter, I think, to my taste. Um, I'm gonna add a bit of salt in there, and I think definitely, I think I'm gonna add some vinegar. Definitely, it's a bit more vinegar in here. And I'm gonna mix that, okay. So it's all about what you like. And if you have a little bit of bitterness, uh, it is said it is normal, you can add a tiny, weeny bit of sugar to break that down. Okay, Operation Mustard is now complete. I've added actually a little bit of sugar and that has really, really improved that kind of bitterness and plenty of vinegar. But of course, like this, if you leave it like this, you get that kind of look of the old fashioned mustard. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pass this through a sieve to really get that standard mustard consistency in the one you know from the Dijon mustard because we want something nice and smooth. Lastly, in order to transform your old fashioned mustard into a more modern version, you just put the mustard through a sieve like this and with a spoon you're gonna press down and the result should be look at that the nice mustard that we know lovely and here we are so i did just one pass i've got still plenty of grains i could do a second pass but look at the result it is quite actually uh, i'm astonished to see that this is really mustard from the shop look at this it's dijon style mustard now look at this it's amazing and Oh no, I need to try it again. Let's see. <laughs> Still very hot, but taste wise, mm, much, much better, definitely. So my advice, when the mustard comes together is at the end, when you mix with your spoon and you start to fine tune your mustard. A uh, little bit of vinegar, a little bit of wine, maybe a little bit of pepper in there. It's interesting because you could come up with some very, very interesting flavors and you could have like a real kind of a personal mustard, the type you like. If you like acidic or sweeter, that sort of thing. But it's brilliant. Look at this. And that's it. We've done. We've made a Dijon style mustard from scratch. All right. So I'm going to put this in a nice little container and we'll wrap up the lesson. 
And here we are, we've got our little pot of mustard. So to wrap up the video, I'd like to say that you're not supposed to consume mustard that has been made like this straight away. It needs to mature in the fridge for three or four days. You would cover it or put it in a sealed container and uh, leave some time for the aromas to uh, mix together and for that bitterness, slight bitterness to go away and all the, the, the taste and the strength need to diminish a little bit. But all in all, it is not that difficult. And you could come up with your own version using maybe like uh, yellow mustard seed plus black mustard seed, use different condiments and really make it your own. So my advice, if you don't have French mustard at home, give this a shot because it is absolutely beautiful and it's totally organic. But that's it for me. As always, if you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section. If you make that mustard, share the picture on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy and a little announcement to tell you very quickly that on the 27th of this month, there is a new course coming on the school that is all dedicated to learning the basic on how to make French desserts. So look forward to that and I'll see you all next week for another French cooking video. Take care all, bye bye.